Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Today, we've been given the opportunity to honor Melissa Haga Croman for dedicating 35 years of her life in service to the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. She be began her career in May of 1983 and went to the Pennsylvania House of Representatives. She learned the ins and outs of human resources and she rose through the ranks and in August 2009, she became the Director of Human Resources. Missy, as most of us know her, dedicated more than three decades of her life to the Commonwealth and served with dignity, grace, and a very steady hand. For five days a week, almost 35 years, Missy carpooled to Harrisburg for about an hour drive here and an hour drive home, regardless of the weather, the construction, or delays due to accidents. I've had the pleasure with working with Missy for many years, but when I saw she was retiring, I was given the honor of presenting her with a citation from the House of Representatives and to make remarks to celebrate her time here in the House. And I began to ask myself and many, many others, who is Missy Croman? Well, we know she is a wife, she is a mother, a daughter, a sister, and a really great friend to many people here in the House. We know that she is always present as our HR director. Words people use to describe her are calm, patient, informative, dependable, soft-spoken, good listener, and supportive. She leads us with a quiet strength and methodically handles the day-to-day -day operations. She does this so well that many of us sitting here don't often think about the fine details, legal paperwork, or the ever-changing policies she has to maintain. She makes the job look easy and effortless, when in reality, we all know that being the director of HR comes with many challenges, not to mention the turnover and all the contracts that need to be renewed every other year dictated by our election cycles and the outcomes. She has built a solid team in HR that are available, ready, and waiting for us, regardless of the issue. Missy is so professional and dedicated to leading by example that it was virtually impossible to come up with a colorful story about her. Although, she does work with many, many colorful characters that we won't mention at this time. Now that Missy's conquered the HR world here in Harrisburg, I would love to tell you she's going to go off out into the sunset and relax. But anybody who knows Missy knows that that is not in her nature and that is probably not what's going to be happening. I know she's looking forward to spending the rest of her son's senior year with him and getting him ready to go off to college. And I know that as a dedicated mother, uh, if you didn't catch the speaker say it, she will probably be taking over his lawn mowing business while he's at college. I've heard she's had many requests from his clients that she keep on mowing for him. So whether it be spending time with her husband and family, becoming more involved in her church, or some other new adventure, I am sure that the 108th Legislative District and the entire Central Susquehanna Valley will be the beneficiary of her new endeavors. I congratulate her, and I know I will greatly miss you, as I am sure many people on the floor will, but we best wish her the best of luck with this new chapter in her life. Missy Croman, with all sincerity, I personally want to thank you for your time, your expertise, and for touching the lives of so many Pennsylvanians over the last 35 years. I ask you to remain standing and ask the House to rise and recognize her and give her the credit that she deserves upon her retirement. At this time, the Sergeant Arms will open the doors of the House. Missy. Steve, Hunter, and Linda, Representative Culver, if you could please join us up here at the Rostrum for a photo. Thank you so much.